Okay, so we're looking at Dreamweaver now, and what you'll notice is very simply, we've set up a testing server. Now, it can get a bit tricky to know what the settings are, but first things first, I'm going to go down here and show MAMP. So MAMP is installed for me, okay? That's what I've got running on my Mac is MAMP. I think WAMP is the Windows version, but that's what I find is the best. MAMP's by far the best I've come across. Notice here that it's HTTP localhost. The port is 8888. It's just the port that I've got set up, but sometimes for some people, it's HTTP double dot forward slash forward slash localhost forward slash MAMP without the, the four eights. Now, that's not important to you right now, but it will be soon. Um, let's just put that aside. The second thing to look at is this. This is why I pointed that out. For me to suddenly see this website uh, as if it was running on a host elsewhere, you'll notice what's going on here. HTTP double dot forward slash forward slash localhost colon and the four eights. That's my port. That's the port that is allowing this to run php test php test.php is the actual folder sorry the file and php test is the folder this is the folder this is the file and you'll see it on my system here if we go to mamp right just double click htdocs is where all folders and files exist for your testing server to operate with MAMP. And I'm assuming it's the same with WAMP, but uh, here it is. There's the folder, PHP test, as you can see, PHP test up here, right? And then the file, so this is PHP test, the folder. And then if we go back to here, just click that down and you can see PHP test, the file php test dot php is the file and there it is up there so what's going on is that we've placed our folders and files in the um, ht docs as you can see ht docs folder it's the only way you're going to get the these to operate now the reason why i've got a testing server even set up in the first place is because it's a php um, PHP dynamic page in Dreamweaver if we have a look we're going to go to PHP test this is the setup here and you can see first thing local info PHP test I've just named the site PHP test just to keep it simple I've named it the same as the folder local root folder you can browse out to it okay so it's to browse out to as you can see I'd be going like this so I go to Applications, go down to MAMP, right? Go down to HTDocs. This is the folder that must be used to store your site. And you must store the files in a folder. So PHP test was a newly created folder that I just created earlier. And there's the file. So I click here, choose. And there it is. PHP test is the folder. Then we go down here. HTTP address is HTTP forward slash forward slash. Got the colon forward slash localhost colon. Some people have the four eights. If that's the port you're using, if it's not, that's dropped. You go straight to the slash PHP test form. Now, admittedly, it is a bit tricky, but you're either going to be using the four eights or you're not, but that colon remains, right? And then testing server. Okay, I chose PHP MySQL, local network, as opposed to FTP, which is what you'd be using if you had it hosted elsewhere. I'm using local host. And then once again, same thing happens here. You literally find the folder by doing what we did before. Forward slash applications, MAMP, htdocs, PHP test is the folder. And then all your files, this file here, exists inside that folder there. 
And then down here has to be HTTP colon forward slash localhost colon the four eights, which is my port PHP test forward slash, right? That is what allows my testing server. And this is what a testing server looks like. It's basically, you can go into design. There it is, just a normal, normal design view that you always have on Dreamweaver. But what you can then do is go live view. This will update the file on the testing server, which is fine. This might affect others working on the file. Don't worry about that. And there it is. Now you're running a PHP script as if it was running on a live server uh, with a hosting company. And what you can do now is go to live code, which presents... This live code view is presenting the code as if it was processed by the server. So what happens with PHP pages is they get processed by the server first before they end up being sent to the browser. And this is the information here, right? Now I'm going to turn live code off and you'll see what happens. This is the view of the actual code as if it was processed by a PHP server. Now we're going to click that off, click off live view we're back into code view normal and you can see that's the actual code this php stuff has been processed by the server but that's how you set up a testing server i admit it this is the most polished presentation but it gives you an idea of what it looks like